Hey guys and gals, Joshua here from the Authentic Intent channel. I just wanted to thank you all personally for your thumbs up, your thumbs down, your positive or negative comments throughout the past couple of years. It's really helped me grow and become more of a contributor to the area that I'm in. All because of you is the reason why I actually set up the table and the teaching aspect of this channel. I would also like to reach out to you and share my Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo accounts to you if you feel led to offer in any monetary contributions. In addition to, if you're not totally comfortable with offering money, I do have an Amazon wish list, which I try to keep up to date with just ideas that I've come to regarding materials and things that I feel would help out the channel. They're just various items that I have heard through the grapevine of ways that to, I could make this channel better and look more professional. This is no longer a hobby for me. I have devoted my mind, body, and soul, and spirit into this channel, and I do this as often as I can. Even your negative comments help me strive to be better. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy and learn something today. I think I'm at a whole different level of not even, no governments, no nothing. Yeah, uh, fair enough. I, I personally don't think that we can, as human beings, know what the measurements or how much it weighs or how much water there is. I just don't think we have a right to know that, personally. I just don't think so that that's our, our right this? to know that. This is all okay. this is all the government. If they if the government were to have measured the earth, have measured this it, is the equation, this is the that, equation they that they Sorry, your name was Joshua, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm Brandon again. Yeah. yeah. So if we were to like okay, we measured the angle of the sun. So if we were to put a stick a mile down that way and a stick a mile down that way, and we get like say a group of five or six of us to uh, half a mile apart, we measure the angle of the sun versus the sticks. Mm -hmm. What Should it be the see? same? Like, there's a, it's like a little bit different in the angle. The How far is the sun away from the earth? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. But we're not. We're not. We're not trying with the. But I'm saying. I'm not. 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 i I know this or not. I'm just yeah. saying, what if we go do that? Like well, sometime, let's all but meet you're up. Just, in my opinion, in my opinion, okay, yeah. you can do that. Yeah. But I would not take that as tangible no, evidence. No, I want you to be involved. So, I'm saying, like, no, we why, all why go why a half wouldn't mile you? We all go a half Because mile water apart. lays level and flat. Why don't we measure over a distance to see if we can find curvature? Well, the water lay flat, shadows, right? There's because, a water right, level right. there. There's a water the level there. Be very, no, be wait. Because it depends upon how far the sun is away from water the Water level yeah, here could be like this, but water level there is this. It's not the same, right? So I'm just water saying, is deep here, it's not deeper here. Like 10 miles from here, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, the trick is in the delta. So like yeah, as you, delta, right? if you yeah. keep measuring this, any point as you move along, you know there's going to be that drop, and it'll always. So the the, w the well, land the, the land water. space around the water. Oh, oh, it's yeah, yeah, space. yeah, it's mine. Yeah. Do you ever go on YouTube's? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. I just uh, trade you that for water. Cool. Fair enough, right? Thanks, man. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. My point is, is that my water bottle somewhere. Oh so man, I'm... that sucked. Thank you, man. Yeah, no worries. So my, my point is not that this is this is fact or this is a fact. Like I don't know, I don't know where the fact is. Like if I, if I'm wrong, it's just a big. It, you just had a tough work week, I guess. Yeah. 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 What I'm saying is that I don't understand where the fact is. If I just go, okay, I don't know. Let's just measure this ourselves and figure out what's the reality. Why don't we measure uh, it over a body of water? Sure. Yeah, like we can do okay. that. And what if there's not curvature? What if there's no curvature found over a body of water? But what about what about what about in a straw? Mindset. So if I, if I measure something and I decide that something is not real, it, this doesn't the evidence doesn't line up, then I'll take that for fact. That's okay. that's how my mind works. So if yeah. we do that on land or on water, we do that. Say we do a half mile apart, we'll measure the shadow of the sun on water or on land and we do that and if there's a difference in the shadow then we can actually have an objective measurement we cannot measure the earth it's just we can't i'm not measuring the earth I'm just what are you measuring what are you trying to do the though? i don't understand 
the sun, a distance. Well, we know the distance. Light, the, the sun emits light. And the, does the does the shadow from the sun ever change in size relative to the object that you're holding? That's what I'm asking. Is we should <clears> that so like the penumbra umbra type of deal with the moon casting an eclipse. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm just saying. Like, what if we just put sticks in the ground? Let's do it. Measurement, and we'll see what the evidence. Bring it down to like the I just basic don't understand level. what you're trying to saying, prove. Yeah. I'm not trying to prove anything. I'm just saying. Let's, okay, then why are we doing it? Let's just measure <laughs> stuff and see what it says. What are we gonna measure? For what purpose? Because if we because if you do it on the small scale, saying what we can personally do objectively, we understand this is like we can we know that this is this far away from that. We know that five thousand eight hundred twenty three feet is a mile, whatever it is. Okay, so we do that to there, and then we should be able to figure out when you're like driving somewhere. Are you doing this over land or water? Both. Let's do both. Both. So I do it on land because we can manipulate land. Okay. Well, let's do, yeah, okay, the water. The water. You yeah, still, you still are gonna yeah. know let's do all the, water the distance. Water lays level and flat. We can do it with lasers over let's water. water. Yeah. So why don't we just do lasers? Because lasers are level and flat, right? Well, like all but the water, ironic but thing water, water that we do is the ironic better. thing that we do with lasers is we level them with water. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you believe? <laughs> She's like, get the, the fuck out of here. <laughs> I do think that, yeah. Do you, does it get? I think it's mostly water. Yeah, does the sun? I mean, oh, mostly water. Yeah. But, so is there ice around at the poles? Most um, people who identify as flat earthers would say that there is an ice wall. I've never seen it before. I've seen really cool pictures and two testimony from what I feel are military personnel to say that there's a belt of ice, sixty thousand miles around, which takes about three or four years to go around. Jeez. But, but I've never done it before. So. Do you think the sun goes like this way across, or does it go this way? Or you don't know. Uh, I observe it traveling further away from me, personally. So, so what, could it be what, like what could it, it be this, to the seasons. or could it be like a oh geez, you're right. come up like this and come back down? It, it's no, inside the firmament. Or, like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so, so what attests to the seasons then? If the sun is always traveling away from us? Yeah, so possibly. Oh, it just wouldn't work. Oh, it just doesn't Possibly, work the, the like sun. right now, the sun is over America right now, you know, for mm -hmm. the summertime. And so it has a particular relationship with the North Pole because what we do with compasses is we always point them north, right? Yeah. Parallel to the ground. Yeah. Okay. So if this has a particular relationship with the North Pole, Maybe it's attracted to it, and during the winter time, it gets repelled. But then it does one of these and goes further away, and then that's how the sun is here and it's lower in the horizon during the winter time, right? How can nighttime exist though with this model? Well, this is just a projection, and it's not a model because you don't take a globe with you to go camping, do you? How is where if the sun? How does the sun go? It goes below the plane. No, it doesn't. It goes on infinitely forever. So it always the sun never goes below you. But then you would still. Uh, so it has to go really far away. No, so if the sun local, was always above small. you, would it always be daylight? But then it's light. No, it's it's just here, and then does the sun here, turn off? No, it's always on. How do you know yeah, that? so if it's flat, that means that you would like always see the sun. I my friends in Thailand, and it's going to be coming up in about three hours. But that means that you would I always mean, see... The, if the Earth yeah. is flat, you would always see the sun. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Because it's how, local and small. How would you not... It's local and I, small. I really cannot... Does you need the, to, you do need the to lights, argue do the so lights much are, Do the lights... I'm not going to convince you here. No, I'm just, I'm just point. super curious. I'm super curious. I have a YouTube channel. I'm literally... I don't need a YouTube channel. That's the reason why my... My dad's fiance is a flat earther. Maybe it's you because can hand of YouTube. Them this by card. No, they don't need that. I'm just curious. I was I just, in Alaska. I I'm not going to argue with you, and I'm not going to convince you. She's right. Right. So, She's not this is the no, thing. It's not about gravity. It's about where the sun goes. Because if it's too small, you if can still see it. Flat, if everything's flat, then believe. Flat, okay, then that believe what you want to believe, and whatever I say is just. No, I'm just. I'm trying to understand. No, I don't think you are because you want to take my information. If okay, I'll take your information. If the Earth is flat, that means the only thing that would be obstructing the sun would be mountains. So in your mind, you still think you live on a ball Earth, and no, in your no, no, mind, no. if the Earth is Wait, flat, okay, no, it's no, no, a no. disc I'm, floating in outer I'm space. I'm literally here. Let me. We need a we, cell phone. We need. We need some. Give me some of those pez. I'll argue with that. Okay. If the Earth is flat, are you gonna eat those pez? No, I will oh, give them. You'll eat them. Okay. 
So if the Earth is flat so and the Sun, why can't we just use the map here? I got a map of a projection of what a flat Earth. I don't want to go in front of the like. camera, to be honest. Um, okay, if the Earth is flat, this is the flat Earth. If the Sun is constantly here, then we would randomly get the. This would be the only reason why we would have nighttime. Would be as the Sun is obstructed by the mountains. Correct. If you want to believe so, that, no. I don't, what's I can't, what, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Are you? Are you? Yes. No, what, you're not. What is your argument about how we would have nighttime? What is your argument? Give me the argument of how we would have nighttime. Can you, can you let me talk for thirty seconds yes, then? Okay. Absolutely. I will listen for an hour. I don't think about that, but I mean that's okay. gracious well, then give of me you. twenty minutes, okay. ten minutes, well, two minutes. Enough. I don't care. I just want to understand where nighttime will come from when the Earth is flat okay. and the sun is constantly in retrograde. Can I? Can I? Okay, I'll start off by asking a question so I can help understand where you're coming from. That that light post down there at the end is that light post down there by the garbage is going to illuminate here? To a certain extent, yes. If the light is no. yes. Excuse me. If it's dark. If so light. if it's completely dark. And yes. that down there by the garbages, by almost the porta potties, oh, that street yes. light is going to illuminate here, and I can see my well, hand in no, front of me. No, you can't see, but there will be a certain it. amount of light Joshua, that does. That's called, that's called false equivalency of how because much it's higher yeah, because the, the sun is brighter than that street light. So exactly. That's, that's called a false equivalency. Exactly. So, so you, what is, is the sun? Brighter than it. What is the sun? A big ball of burning gas, basically. No, it's okay. fusion. I'm, yes. Okay. Exactly. That is what future we are way too on the other side of each other, and I appreciate the fact that you're very passionate about this, but okay, I'm not so, going to argue so anymore. So you lied to me, and you're not going to take the information. No, I will. And you're I will. not going to give not, me 30 I'm not seconds. Taking the okay, I'll give you 30 seconds. I'm not going to take right. your information. I really appreciate you I'm not going to. I'm not going to agree with you, but keep explaining it to me. No, I'm, just, I will I'm be not here. ready. No, I'm no. just not in the mood right now, because no. you're just not ready right now. You just, I will you're listen. just not ready. That's listen. fine. You know what? Don't ask me questions. Just enough, literally right? give me, give me. I'm just me. not going to. Just not. I would be game for just listening to what you, you have didn't. to say. I asked you to, and you didn't. So. I think the sun Wait, where's so light, You're just gonna see it, like. Yeah, you think coming? that, but it's not. Oh, and so. Is, oh wait, this is cool. All okay, right. literally, just give me, give me the to. explanation. I really appreciate you stopping and oh, listening. Oh, really? You're not gonna give me any explanation. I'm not entitled. I'm not obligated to. You're not either. You're and not I'm not obligated to, to agree with you, but I would like you to argue with me so that I you understand where you're coming from. You had your chance, and you keep your mouth shut. So, fair enough, right? Maybe, fair enough. maybe we'll see each fair other enough, again, sir. and I'll forgive you, and then we can talk again, maybe. I don't so. agree with this rhetorical. How are we doing, boss? I'm well, thanks. Tony Danza's the boss, not me. How's it going today? Who's Danza? Tony Danza, you never seen Who's the Boss? It's an 80s show. It's fun. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right on. What I, brings you? Uh, I, I what know brings you, you by? I just I have one question. I mean, yeah. I have a lot of questions, but yeah, um, right on. And you can return. I, w I would actually like you to return the question to me. Yeah. But what is one piece of evidence so that would that would convince you otherwise? Like, what if you're wrong about? Because I might be wrong too. Yeah. What is one piece of evidence that you would? Grant. No, I think the sun is like 20 miles away and it's local and small. And you think it's 93 million mile ball of gas. Yeah, I mean, so. It's 20 miles away. So, so, so you, it, no offense, but like let me just know. preemptive strike here. You think I believe the earth was flat my whole life? Or like, I don't understand, like, how did I come to this conclusion or what? I, I'm just, I'm just saying like, to believe anything full heartedly, yeah. you have to be... You have to be so committed to a belief system, a, a belief system, and like you have to, you have to weigh on the other side. Like, what if, what if I'm wrong about what I believe? Because people, yeah. people have been wrong about history. Maybe four years ago, I thought, what if I was wrong about the ball Earth when somebody introduced flat Earth to me? I'm just asking, what piece of evidence could be introduced where you would change your mind? Let me like, preface this, okay? Because you're going to just keep asking me questions and you're not going to even let me speak. I'm, I'm not from your pers you. From your pr perspective, you're trying to reconvince me back to something that I believed for 35 years of my life. I just want, like, if someone, if someone <laughs> believes in, like, the Tooth Fairy, I would, I would ask them the same... can't be 20 miles away. I would, I would ask them the same question. Like, what piece of evidence... Do you what would would have to appear? Like, just answer that question. What would what 
evidence would have to occur. I've already gone through everything to then get to this conclusion of why I'm doing this now. Yeah. But what if you... Like, do you, like, you honestly think, out. like, I do this because I'm uh, ignorant and just, no, like, have, no. like, Dunning-Kruger no, no, symptom? No, 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 absolutely not. I, I know there is nothing that you're going to be able genuine. to tell me to convince me that I'm going to go back to the solar system heliocentric model. Okay, so it's an epist uh, epistemological exercise, right there. Right? I, 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 that's your opinion, I guess. You know? Hypothetically, well, if we we're not going to do hypotheticals, we're going to do reality. Sure, but like, but I'm I'm just posing this to you. If someone were to give you a ticket to uh, outer space and you could orbit or circular the whatever constellation we're on the planet flat earth or global would you like would you take that or to go to would you go to the sun if it was 20 miles away like if if someone offered you like certainly there has to be a, a trap door of like if this is true then I will then I will grant this to be true. Do you have do you have no do you have no piece of evidence that you like would change your mind about if if you were granted the the the, the where evidence? Does that, where does the love tend? That's a really good point. Something has to be falsifiable for you to have a good viewpoint. I just want. That's really, that's a good point. Is there any piece of evidence that would change your mind? Well, it's hard to take the mainstream view because everything's falsifiable. If you don't know all the reasons, then you know you're screwed. Right? It's a pretty fun meme book. It's pretty fun to look at. There's nothing falsifiable about your belief, is there? So does the water end right here? Allegedly, in some people's view, it does. In my opinion, it goes on infinitely forever. <sighs> That's an even better one. It's not just the nighttime. Does not the sun? Uh, does not outer really. space go on infinitely forever and is ever expanding? No, you got it. It's good. All right. Shake your hands, sir. Hey. I mean, allegedly, the right? Falsifiability. That's what science says: is that outer space goes yeah. on infinitely forever. How about you nothing in your belief point? So we should do it in the YouTube. Well, I'm, I'm just using it as an analogy to say water and land and go on infinitely horizontally forever. So nothing in his viewpoint is falsifiable, or in your viewpoint. So we can't really argue or make any like. There's no reason not to believe in your viewpoint because nothing cannot be. You can't really make a case for it or against it, right? If you can't prove or disprove it, then you're kind of just saying it, and that's tough, right? Huh. I don't know. It's gotta be, there's gotta be falsifiability with it. Huh. Otherwise, there's no proof for your... How you doing? Hey. So. Wait, before I leave, it, it, is it real? Okay, What's fair up, enough. Man? Did you guys like, um, excuse me? Can you put that water back, please? No, I'm not. Can you, you please put the some, water back? Some more racist shit? Yeah. The one thing I forgot about you. That's fine. Whatever, dude. There's a racist guy right here. No, I'm not. Let me forget. How am I racist? Oh, what you said. Yeah. What did I say? Yeah. Man, you Wait, I know you. What did I say? You man, you repeat it. You, what did you I say? Stop. I don't remember you little nigga calling dude. me. Like, what did I say? To me? What did I say? Oh my god, dude. So, apparently you don't either. This guy dropped the point like right away. It's all about okay. Show. Okay. Talking, and you know we and came in here respectfully. I was with this No, you didn't. You did not come in respectfully. Well, how did we come in then? You just took my water, and that's I'm what you did the last time. time you were here. No, that's not yeah, that's this. It. It's on camera. I mean, dude, you're racist, bro. No, I'm not. You deleted that footage too. No, I didn't. Last time. It's on camera. It's on camera. But you won't repeat what I said if you think I'm allegedly racist. So. He said I was drunk on camera. I'm sorry, how are you doing now? <laughs> I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Who the fuck matters if it's not anything? You're still living in it, God. There's a really hey, man, it, was, it, was, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking All to you, too, man. Do you, you want a water? Oh, let the guy sure. talk. Yeah, I'll take a water. Let's just learn, bro. Is there no, like, just, just say yes or no. Is there no evidence that could be brought to light that would change your mind? I don't know why, why you need me to give you an answer. Because what I say isn't 
credible enough for you in the first place. Well, just like, just say like, well, if I was brought, like, if I could orbit the globe and the universe, then I would be changed. Like, then I believe that that's all true. And if I'm you saying that like, that's true, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying for you, like, if, if you could, if you could, if you could do whatever you wanted. 33 years ago, a rocket exploded in the air. Okay. And then allegedly all of the people in the ship died, but then people have looked at these similar faces from the past, and they're still allegedly alive right now. I mean, that one guy did just go up to me and say, like, he thought that I was Charlie Benson or something, so I don't know if that's a good reason. Well, but man, the whole falsifiability thing, like... Yeah, how do you falsify the moon landing, right? I mean, it's 50th anniversary here on July 20th. I don't know. I feel like you could falsify... Well, a historical fact, right? I can't go back and try to falsify something. Right? What's what's history? Uh, but you're getting on the words. It's here, called so his again. story, right? Yeah, I can't disprove something in the past happened. But um, falsifiability is like when you try to repeat an experiment and it fails, right? There's no experiment that we can conduct in... Would put your argument on the line or not? <laughs> Okay. I can observe water lay level and flat. It's not really... In it. That, so, that bit's... In water doesn't bend to make that, that you've never seen before in outer that space. That fits my viewpoint as well, though, that water is... Because I say gravity, and you say that it's the Earth is flat. Well, you've never seen the Earth at a 23.4 degree tilt to know that that's what causes the seasons. Well, have you seen the Earth flat like this, and the water sun lays and the moon on top of it? to the end of the world, I mean, Have you seen, like, the... Have you, you seen haven't seen the, the end, end of space, and they say outer space goes on infinitely forever. I just think... You have to believe... That. I think it's the same thing that when, you know, water fills up my cup, that when water falls, it just fills out the space, and there's just a big opening in the ground, and that's where the water goes, and that's gravity, and you think it's, the world is flat, and I don't know, you could falsify my opinion, you know, by just, I don't know, I mean, you could, you could go to space and show that This is at almost 25 miles? High altitude balloon, and there's no ball, there's no curvature, so there's no bending. Uh, there is curvature in the other picture, I, though. I Using a fisheye lens. Here, That's a fisheye lens. Ah, oh, they're all fisheye lenses. <laughs> you gotta well, use discernment, man. I think this is this is a little <clears> bit. <throat> this is a little bit. Uh, yeah, right. uh, this if, is. If you choose uh, to believe, if you choose to deny your own senses, I just wouldn't. Do that personally, but we lost a lot of detail oh, over here. Speak. Yeah, I don't know the whole thing. Pictures. Like, if the if the sun is only twenty miles away, I don't know how far it is, but it's certainly not ninety three million miles away. Though. You don't know that either. You don't know that either. So, oh, man, it, it seems like it's far away to me. Though, <laughs> it is far away for sure. It just seems, but that like doesn't mean that <clears throat> um, the sun it has to, to illuminate so the entire Earth. It would have to be so dim yeah, for it to not to be seen if the world was flat by the people in India. And I happen to know for what a fact, because I talked oh, wait, no, to, to my mom. Can't, to my mom. <laughs> why can't you just not know everything? Is that okay? Is that uh, okay just to not know shit, everything? Shit, man, there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Yeah, you know? so what if, yeah, that's fair. What, if you only, what if you knew 50% of everything there is to know? I'm just... just oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Okay. My brain could possibly contain that. Let me finish my thought here. Sure. If you know 50% of everything there is to know, what if Flat Earth is in the other 50% you don't know? Oh, well, what if Globus and the other know? 50% that you didn't know? What about that? But I've already believed this for 35 years, and then I looked into this, and this just feels... Right. This well, does not. Your feeling is different from what, what, what's right, right? right? Your feeling is not the same as what the but facts are. But you can't see the Earth at a 23.4 degree tilt in outer space. So why would you believe other men would tell you where you live? Okay, just because you do, you cannot see it, it doesn't mean it's not true, right? Yeah, okay. Let's speak about uh, That's We're not going to get into that. Okay, yeah. We're that, talking that's... about a specific thing and that is where you think you live okay we're talking about a specific observation okay, okay? Is the sun hidden by anything if it's the earth is flat <laughs> i was wondering what these were this is just a huge flaw in the argument man i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm, we're, we're not we're not anybody. trying to like I'm sorry, we're not trying to gang up on your thing. It's just, you can it's, do whatever you want. I'm totally comfortable where I'm at. 
Yeah, it's it's so just like I've been doing this for a while. Yeah, so. we we're trying to learn. Like, so I appreciate your this is a yeah. true what I'm missing Do you know about, about bees, this math and science that disproves curvature in motion. Yeah, so there's no, um, uh, there's no um, mechanical device or anything like that that humans can create to observe the rotation of the Earth. Yeah, so math can't do it. There's no way that you can know the Earth is so spinning. Do they, do they disprove it? Well, you're falsifying stuff, right? That's what science is, allegedly. That you're not out there to uh, prove things, okay. you're there to disprove things. And for it to be science, it has to be falsifiable. Yeah. So this but isn't science, but it's not falsifiable. Well, how do you, again, how do you use the scientific method to land on the moon? Have you done it yet? Um, that's not really a thing, though. It's more like, that's not a theory, really. It's a hypothesis. It's the more... government is the only one who has landed on the moon... And if you choose to believe that, and you can't do it yourself, how is that not a faith-based thought life? Um, so okay, let me let me pass you. Yeah, so you believe really in religion, it's just a faith, but not the government. Falsifiability, though. <clears throat> Government's your god. That's cool. No, no you, that's where you're at. You just said that science has to be falsifiable, but yet you can't show how your belief is falsifiable. Yeah. So you believe in creation, YouTube. right? You I know that water lays level and flat. Yeah. But well, you do no, believe in creation, it's though. It's not falsifiable. I don't think you do know. I think it could, you know. Not by my... Whatever, gravity, right? <clears throat> whatever, whatever anybody's voice. personal, like, beliefs are, we all depend... It doesn't, doesn't matter if you're black, white, Asian, yeah, sure, Jew, yeah, yeah. Christian, or whatever. We all observe the earth laying level and flat. That's what I don't know. Falsifiability really is key, yeah. right? Yeah. In science. And yeah. it's not falsifiable. It's not real science. It's pseudoscience, just like... Pseudoscience is landing on Mars. That's pseudoscience. That, that's a historical thing, man. No, like, it's not. Nobody can land on Mars. And if you choose to believe the that, is, then government's your god. The scientific yeah, cool. question is whether it is possible to land on Mars. The historical fact is whether it has. You can, you can attack that, and I can't prove that we really did land on Mars, right? But that might... So... That's not really a science. Like saying saying that something happened historically isn't really science. It's more like science is a repeatable thing. It's a method to show repeatable things will continue to happen and explain how they happen by doing experiments. And there's no experiment that you can use to show that your viewpoint is true. And so it's not science. People have observed over a body of water with lasers that we see things too far over and over and over and over and over again. Who are these people? So, I don't believe in them. Okay, then don't. I don't think. What's the same? I don't know. I don't know. NASA allegedly comes from a whole an old terminology called to deceive. Can snakes deceive? Like serpent's kind of tongue. The, the I, heard, I heard people are uh, serpent's tongue. Um, like the snake. Oh yeah, I know, right? Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. Like, it's hilarious. Oh, oh yeah, the party people. though. Yeah, people are so know, lazy. Nobody's gonna go do that. anything. Still you two. <laughs> when, when the event was supposed to. They have baseball to watch, and they have a job to go to the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah, not going to go anywhere. Uh, no, I just thought there's got to exactly. be a better argument though. There's got to yeah, be a I know, falsifiable right? experiment. Yeah, there must be. Keep looking and searching. Maybe you'll find it. No, I'm trying to back up your viewpoint. There's nothing false about it. I'm just sitting here eating Pez, listening to music. But you have music? I did, yeah. What did you do? The water is dead. Spoiled my music. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just a bummer because... Uh, yeah, you ever go into the YouTubes? Yeah, let me, let me uh, try to hit that up. Check it out, man. There you go. I don't know. You can't find me anything falsifiable about your belief. I guess not. Yeah, shucks. And you said, though, that science has to be falsifiable. I guess I did, huh? Hmm. That's too bad. Is this what happens? Well, I guess I gotta go back to believe in the ball earth, huh? I think you do, or at least, at least suspend belief? Hmm. Is this how it ends? Uh, I don't think it has ends, but... No, with, with the... Kind of, you know, the sitting down at the yeah, table. That's up to you. I'm, I got another two hours to go. Uh, how come you do this? Why not? Well, of course. That's <laughs> right?
How come, what are you doing? Sitting here as well. Well, I mean, before you came here, what were you doing? You were uh, sitting with your friends, right? I don't want to take you from your friends. Oh, you know? man. I just, this is kind of fun. But then it, now it's not as fun because I, I think we reached, like, you had answers to everything and you had attacks against Well, I think this is the time where you allow things to marinate a little bit, you know, percolate, if you will. I and you time. sleep on it, and then you observe and go into more things when you've slept on it. I think that's important. I just don't know if I need sleep to know whether or not that if an argument is non falsifiable, if I should even really consider it. That, and that's up to you, right? Each person in their own time. Then you've given up. No, I, it's not I my. I'm not. I'm just not my obligation to prove anything, that's up to you to then see how the earth uh, or spiritual realm or whatever you want to call it is speaking to you. you want to prove it. I think you want to no, prove it I'm as just here to share. As I want to prove it. I'm just it. here to share, and I'm having a lot of fun sharing. Uh, if you wanted to share, though, you, I did you share. argued back, though. No. You argued out of spirit. And that means you believe in this, or at least are attempting to I know it. I think there's, do you think that there's a difference between belief and knowing? What about that? Uh, yeah. Oh, man, this is great. So, really, I think knowledge is a true, justified belief, mm -hmm. plus something for this problem called the Gettier problem. And the Gettier problem basically is, is that if you're driving... Oh, wait, because we're on YouTube. Let's talk about the Gettier yeah. problem I don't, on YouTube. I don't want to trade you. Can I just get a card? Uh, of course. I just, I just want to see your YouTube channel. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for checking it out. Alright, so YouTube channel, right? Okay, so in epistemology, um, I took this class. I'll name drop. Um, well, no, I won't. But I took this class. Shout um, out. Shout out to the class. That was a great class. You should take epistemology YouTube. Uh, but pretty much the first thing we covered in class was knowledge. It's basically a true justified belief. It kind of makes sense to everybody, right? If it's true, if it's false, you can't know it, right? Mm -hmm. You can't know something that's not really justification, it's more of just belief or faith. Um, but you also do got to believe it for you to know it. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything you don't believe, right? Pretty clear definition, right? But then, this asshole named Something Gettier in the 50s... We say Richard here. <laughs> this this Richard, Richard Gettier. named Gettier... Um, yeah, he went in and uh, he's like, look guys, um, we're driving down this country road, right? And uh, we see um, on the side of the road what looks like a bunch of farmhouses. Mm -hmm. And I point at one of the farmhouses and I say, that's a farmhouse. You know what? I know that that's a farmhouse. Turns out, though, that there was a farmer there, and he wanted to really show that his farm had a lot of farmhouses, and he, you know, is a, kind of a, an insecure farmer, I would say. And he actually only had one farmhouse, but the rest of them are props. Of farmhouses. Propped up, fake farmhouses. But you were right when you pointed at that farmhouse. You did know, I guess, that that was a farmhouse, but you kind of guessed randomly, and you didn't really, I guess, know for sure, or I guess it wasn't true that the other ones were farmhouses. The question is, is that it seems like that guy didn't actually know it was a farmhouse, but he was true, and it was justified, and he did believe it. So that's the big thing there. Um, so when I say that I know something, um, it's gotta be a true justified belief, and hopefully somebody, you know, some farmer is not bamboozling me the whole time, but, you never really know that someone is bamboozling you or not, which means that your whole reality could be bamboozled, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, so we could live in a vat, bed that information by some sort of good or bad, I guess for me, I've been lucky in life. Um, and uh, it's been a, a nice computer feeding me all this information, right? But, you know, it could all be made up. Just like it is possible that we could have been fed false information by every scientist I've talked to, all the Google Earth satellites and stuff like that, and you could have been fed false information by the Bible as well, by this machine, and it's all up to really your threshold of proof, I guess, you use, and you have to accept that you might be wrong in saying that you know stuff to know things at all. Otherwise, you know nothing, and that's called the skeptical argument. And skeptics are always right.
Right now, that's messed up. Alright, that's, that should be good enough for your YouTube. The whole thing with the sunlight, you got in the nighttime, you gotta work on, toss it to falsify. Anything else I gotta, you got constructive criticism for me? Yeah, I think the, the, the falsifiability, I this, I that's tricky. Mm -hmm. What is this showing? The moon is lit up. Where's the other side of the earth? Oh, yeah, no, this is cool. So I've heard about this. This is like a, it's kind of like a spatial, shoot, there's this camera trick. You gotta talk to some photographers about this one. Because uh, if you do run against this question by a photographer, they're going to have about, trouble. We're talking about that guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lens trick. I'm not a photographer, but I know some people that are. And certain but relative size of things do look different. Do you mind? Oh. Also, I was curious Sorry. why you trusted this image when the other side of the earth isn't showing. Uh, just because I'm sharing something doesn't mean I believe it or know okay. it or anything or, gotcha. you know, just, if I just throw everything at the wall, right, uh -huh. and then somebody, it absorbs to somebody, because my voice might not resonate with either of you, but then if you heard somebody else a month down the road say kind of the same thing, maybe they might so resonate with you. does the sheet resonate with you? Um, well, what this is showing is that a million miles from the surface of the earth, they took a picture of the moon going in front of the earth and there is some kind of a photoshopped um, glare here that when you zoom into it, it just doesn't look like it should here. So so are we seeing the whole earth in this photo? Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. And so like the narrative is like there's secret alien bases on the dark side of the moon. But we don't see any alien bases here, and the dark side of the moon is lit up somehow. Wait, uh, that's the side facing away from the moon. Why are we referencing uh, this image from the Earth? That's not the dark side of the moon. The no, this is the dark side of the moon because it's the cameras here watching the moon transit past the Earth. Yeah, but we call. So this is the side that we don't observe because it's always facing us in one direction, right? Yeah, yeah, but it can be lit up by the sun. Because the sun can be in between the moon, or the sun can be on the outside of the moon. During what? The when does it happen? Um, well, you know, most prominently, you know, it happens during a solar eclipse. Mm -hmm. But even before that, or without it actually completely blocking out the sun, there's just, you know, a good chunk of the time, really. The moon is going to be somewhere between. Do you have any Earth other constructive sun? criticism? Just really I don't know. Like the whole thing, just the things that were least convincing to me were the, um, the falsifiability thing, mm -hmm. which, you know, if, if you claim that this is a scientific um, belief or opinion, or, you know, then it's got to be falsifiable. And then, um, you know, the whole nighttime thing, really, it's just, it's, it's tough for something to be like, small and illuminate, you know, from all the way up to the North Pole, or to, down to... Because you've been to outer space to see it as it is now, right? Uh, Do you I've to been know? a lot of places. But not could... outer space to see the Earth at a 23.4 degree tilt. Do you happen to That's know how, I'm talking about. at what I'm height talking this about. photo was taken? Yeah, it was by some Japanese satellite a million miles from the Earth. Yeah, allegedly. Where is the sun in this picture, though? I don't know. Tell me. Because <laughs> if it's illuminating the, quote, dark side of the moon, then wouldn't you think that it's from the perspective of where you're viewing it? Yeah, it's probably somewhere behind the, the <clears throat> satellite, right? Yeah, right? yeah, and there's no shadow, probably, because there's a kind of camera trick going on. It's just kind of like a... That's, that's mainstream sign. That, that's what they gave human beings. That's yeah. I mean, there's do. totally a shadow. It's just hard to show that uh, on a picture. Those pictures are not always deceiving. Yeah, everybody knows that. Our pictures are often deceiving. Yeah. But why would they lie? Why the pictures lie? Yeah. Well, um, pictures don't, you know, they're not beings that speak or not. Uh, they can be misleading because of what they depict. There can be distortions of proportion. Which I think is what's going on there. Um, or at least seems like this kind of image I guess I'm just like curious like where the other countries are in this 
saying this. Photo. What photo? This one. I don't know. That I didn't take it. That's what mainstream science conveys as the moon transiting past the Earth. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So that's that's a picture that was a, a that was a video. So you're referencing that's a still. this. I'm just. But that's just in the book. Yeah. This was from. A high altitude balloon. Feet, yeah, that's a, that's a high altitude balloon. Yeah. You can type in a a university and they'll have high altitude balloon footage, and then it'll be level and flat. So is this a level and flat photo? Well, I mean, look at it. Is it not? Still kind of sinks on. It's still a horizon. I don't know why, but. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's if just, you want to believe that you. So I just didn't know. Yeah, you like why we yourself. were referencing this photo. You're referencing it. I just have the book. This is oh, yeah. this is a great epistemological exercise. Whatever it is to yeah. you is fine, but you know. Yeah. Some of this stuff with this book, it's a little bit meme. Mm -hmm. um, but it memes, is actually a meme book. So, yeah. Well, there you go then. Yeah, the memes so, are. Yeah. It does exactly what it's trying to convey. Did you know that memes were created by the CIA in the first place? <laughs> You know that the CIA did Terrible. MK Ultra mind control projects in the 1980s in Canada? Uh, what are memes? <laughs> um, it just conveys a certain image and a phrase to it where make a turn of five, make a turn of it gets you to sway a particular view or observe something. Yeah. Some of these, like, these logical appeals, though, are um, it's like an appeal to authority or appeal to a group by saying yeah. that. Uh, oh, it's an ad hominem attack, is what it's called, and, and you got it right. So, like, okay. the CIA did it. The CIA is bad. I don't believe CIA. They are all bad. You do bad things sometimes, but sometimes. Okay, sometimes too. Um, but um, yeah, just because the CIA does something long enough, mean that it's bad, right? Like the C memes might even be a good thing. The they CIA are. They are fun. Done. I mean, it certainly yeah. filled this book up and. You're looking at it. So. Yeah. As a serious so kind of like a strategy. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, I mean, you know, most some people, you know, oh, put it together and put it on their coffee table and yeah, super, super have doubtful. their globe friends come yeah. over. <laughs> but, yeah. Sometimes too, I had <clears throat> I had questions or points that I raised, and I'm not perfect either, of course. But I feel like they were I thought like of a question. To pop culture. If you knew the answer to it, go ahead. Do you know where the edge of the earth is? I don't know everything. I, I think it goes right? in on infinitely forever. It goes on forever. Yeah, why not? Well, that's a piece of paper. That's a piece of paper. <laughs> no, that's a piece of paper, to be right? Funny. Okay, oh, so that's a, that is we gotta show all these to you too. We don't think that this is serious. This is oh, a joke I was talking about water and land go on infinitely fun. forever, and there is no outer space. Oh. Okay. I mean, to compartmentalize that. Yeah, do what you gotta do, man. So the oceans go on understand forever. Why that was included. Yeah, why not? The outer space goes on forever, but you haven't compartmentalized or yeah. pondered that. Why is that well, you just believe it because science yeah. says so. Well, because that's your, you know, that's your church. Earth, space has the reason this thing's not I don't see these like. I mean, you don't want to go. To say that it's my you have to deny church that we've been kind of a space because on a local small scale, yeah, it's church of course, faith, everything is flat and we'll behave like a flat, flat thing. Flat. But there's. Course, so right. where's your reasoning behind like outer space to, not going on uh, infinitely forever? Yeah, How have you, you confirmed know, it like having like a limit? Really, just like appeals to stupidity. No, I mean I like it like perpetually like going on infinitely forever. It's yeah. continually expanding, is it not? Yes, yes. Okay, so how are we going to He's going to delete all this stuff anyway. Uh, yeah. we've Thanks, man. I don't know. If you <laughs> say, though, <laughs> the whole thing about drinking alcohol, though, if you do say that, and I find that on YouTube, you know, that's going to be... Well, it's going to... Yeah, it's just bad. It's going to be legal things. What legal things? Oh, um... I can make assumptions and by your actions and how you're acting, and if you tell me that I'm wrong, then I'm, I'll accept that I'm wrong. Big yeah. deal. Oh, uh, that's totally true. Yeah. So... Yeah. Uh, no, I just spilled it all over my table. Did I really? What? I don't know, I think so. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, you did, right there. Oh, that one over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, definitely taste it. <clears throat> I don't want to. I don't drink. Have a nice day.
Well, the play starts in about 45 minutes. I don't have a lot of time. Okay, what play are you going to see? The Pinafore. Just don't tell me about here. Oh, okay. They do it every summer. Oh, right on, yeah. Sometimes I go to Harriet. Um, I've been there a couple of times, but sometimes they'll have, like, copyrighted material playing, so I gotta, like, try to be away from the audio a little bit, or at least make myself not so known. Well, I don't know if you'd get in trouble with the people playing the audio, mate, but if it's... If they're not profiting off of it, I don't think the copyright applies, do it. I was there for the Minnesota Orchestra, and they have copyrighted material that they would play. So if they they don't want it reproduced on YouTube without getting, because it's all about money, right? Yeah, I suppose. So, See, that's the, it's all this about is just money. so. So so I was going to ask you if anyone had fallen off the edge of the earth. <laughs> yeah, the that's fun to think about. Infinitely. Mm -hmm. But if it did go on infinitely, then we would have an ever-expanding discoveries of new land masses, of new, you know, new territories, new air, you know. I mean, if the Earth went on infinitely. Yeah, right so kind of you're under the impression that, for some reason, the government has to tell you, particularly, what they're doing, right? Like, you have, like, a newsletter that you get from the government, they're saying, hey, we discovered this new continent. You know, uh, in such and such area, just a heads up. Like, well, that's what you think? It could be. It would be in the government. Well, first off, we don't want to get into government and conspiracy Why not? theories. Technically, the government is owned by the people. Everything that the government has is the property of the people, and the government that's... is required by law within the Constitution. I mean, if you want to believe that, that's fine. I well, it, at least on paper. Yeah. The military is owned by the people, the government is owned by the people, and by law, they are required to be transparent with the people. Within an extent, anything that jeopardizes national security is obviously everything classified. jeopardizes it now since 9/11 and okay. the Patriot Act. Okay, so. so, so, but again, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But I would argue that if it was ever expanding and there was new territory to find, they would be in their best interest to let us know because then the private sector could then send exploratory agencies to find out what kind of natural resources could be used for it. The U.S. could always expand their territory. You know, like when the U.S. was first birthed, every time they found new land, everyone found out because that was... Did they? That, yes, because then they could claim that Were you land. here at that time? It was... <laughs> it's in the history books. Okay, so history but, is true, right? See, again, you're kind of... You're going down this very nihilistic... How can you no, I'm not going down anything. I'm being logical. No. Like, you have this... Ob you have a serious sense that they have an obligation to literally tell you the truth about everything. No, no, and no, you no, are no, incredibly naive, that and I think that's a dangerous place to be, personally. That is not what I'm saying. Okay. Because I know the government has to do with things. They don't like have to do anything. Ever because. since the Patriot Act, they don't have to do anything. Okay. But for back you. to the flat earther. Because I don't want to go down that tangent. See, I just don't. I just don't know what you want from me. I don't understand, like, what it I is, like, you want. Why you. See, I actually, you're kind of an enigma to me. I don't know if you actually believe this or if you're using this as a way to get famous or infamous or if this is something you really truly believe. Because I know there are a lot of people on YouTube or on the internet who say outlandish things, but that gets them notoriety. Versus the people who are sound, scientific, and very practical. Well, they're not famous because they just follow the status quo, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, what is our, so my, you're kind of like this itch I have to scratch. Yeah, fair enough, man. Are you, Appreciate that. you know, well, see, that's the thing. I don't know. Like, it's just you and me. Are you, do you honestly believe that? Or are you trying to get into it? I guess you'll just have to go on my YouTube channel and watch the almost 300 videos that I have in the two and a half years that I've been doing this. Yeah, but that wouldn't really get to the meat of... I don't know. I mean, you could... You don't really know me very well, do you? I know, exactly. So you could post 200 videos, but that could just be a way to try to add to your anonymity. I don't have I don't, any anonymity. I, I am very out there. Everybody knows I mean, who not, I am. Not, not, not infamy. Add to your infamy, not anonymity. Yet. So, you know, so... See, that's what's, that's what's kind of a conundrum. And again, it's not really like one of these things that I'm really dead set on, but I'm just kind of curious, like... Just uh, let that percolate a little bit then. Well, whatever. I mean, yeah. not, after today, I probably won't even give it a second thought. But I'm more concerned about how this is just one of many conspiracy theories. This conspiracy theory. What is, is a conspiracy theory? It's you keep saying that. 
it's something that is propositioned without any underlying evidence. Mm, no, that's just questioning the government <laughs> and the government but again, narrative. But again, to question the government is inherently conspiratorial. You, yeah, you so I, I have a, underlying I have a, under, I have a feeling that they don't have my best interests at heart, and they're liars, and they do things that would that put your manipulate life public opinion, so that then they can control people's minds. Like, what about 9-11? What do you think about 9-11? I'm not going to go down. Well, again, I don't want to go down. Again, I don't like going down rabbit holes. I believe 9-11 then, was an outside job, and it was really just... Okay, then you believe everything the government thing. says. They're your God, I didn't, and you love the government. Good for you. Again, I mean, this, no is, offense. this is a false narrative that you are perpetrating, because 9-11 has evidence to support the claims. Osama bin Laden and the Taliban publicly stated that this was <laughs> our plan. They are not associated with the Osama US bin Laden was a former CIA agent. But Did then, you know that? Yes, I know because in okay. the war. Okay, so the CIA Russia, doesn't lie. No, see, but again, how many people died on that day? Do you happen to know? Two thousand. No, if you look at the old Social Security records of that day, just under four hundred people died on that day, and if you look Social Security death records for that day, people over eighty, that would reduce that number to under three hundred people died that day, not three thousand. And the Social Security Administration holds some pretty tight records in regards to their death records. And the next day, under a thousand people died. So between the two days, 9-11 and 9-12, under 2,000 people died between those two dates, according to the death records of the Social Security Administration. But how could you reference any of them? You, you just go in the Social Security Administration and look. So you have freedom of information <laughs> They tell you, they, they put it out there because they are so confident that people like you will, will believe them that they could just do whatever the hell they want, man. And it's actually quite, I, I actually have a lot of empathy for people like yourself, and I'm not trying to sound insulting, but you really honestly believe the majority of what you're told on TV, and that is just really a terrifying place to be, man. Well, I actually don't even watch that much TV. Well, regardless, whatever... Whatever major narrative that they offer um, that happens on Earth, you would believe them because you heard it from the government. And I just, I just say, that's, you know, that's a very broad but you believe 9/11. Well, of course. Okay, what happened on Building Seven? I don't know anything about Building Seven. Building Seven collapsed on its own footprint from office fires. How does a 47-story building collapse from office fires? And it wasn't even in the entire building. See, but again, you're going. Yeah. Again, I'm going from I obvious know. observations. No, you're done. not going from obvious observations. Yeah, I am. No plane hit the. Hit, no plane hit Building Taliban Seven. Claiming responsibility. You're I didn't say that. Osama bin Laden's claim of responsibility. You're dismissing just the general makeup of what happened during that day. I mean, the other building <laughs> you're talking about could have actually. I saw one building collapsing outside of the two towers, but they said that this is as a result of the heat being. Oh, give me a break. And you believe that? It was, it was compromising the structural integrity of the building. You know what? That actually does make sense. I have friends and family who are construction workers and contractors, and they say, yes, if you have a massive heat source right next door and it is radiating on you, you will compromise the structural integrity of that building. And if it's there long enough and hot enough, it will implode. That's just general, you know what I mean? So... I'm so disappointed to hear that. That but really what? hurts my heart what? to hear you say that. But again, I mean, so you're, you're a 9 11 conspiracy theorist and a flat earther, and then is, is that the. Extent? Where's the plane wreckage from the Pentagon? Where? I don't know. Because there isn't any. A missile hit it. Just like a missile hit those towers. And you honestly believe all of this? There's no evidence that any planes were ever used at any. There's a flight point in that 9-11. On 9-11, there is video evidence. No, there's not. The second tower no. has It's a multiple. missile. It's an airplane projected onto a missile, man. You know, the people on the planes could have been the ones who... Nobody died themselves. on the planes. You know, this is kind of disrespectful to the families. No, it's actually good. I mean, I would think you'd be happy people are alive. No. No? You want people to die? No. I oh. want people to stop peddling the conspiracy theories that are disrespecting... That's not disrespecting. I mean, I'm saying people are alive. 
nobody died. I mean, why wouldn't that be like good news for everybody? Isn't that the gospel of 9-11? Hey, nobody died. So all Did you know that Al Franken in his autobiography was told not to go into work that day? See, I'm, I don't Same. know anything about this Al Franken stuff. Who is Al Franken? Do you happen to know? Yeah, he's our senator, our former senator. He used to be, yeah. And in, so, in his autobiography, he was emailed and told not to go in that day. So that doesn't, see, correlation does not equal causation. I think we know that old I'm thing. just saying, you know, he just so happened and to be told not to go. To be fair, all of these families are in on it that didn't die. I didn't say anything about anybody being in on it. I'm are just saying, saying that there nobody are all died. These names and social security numbers that are dead. No, there's there no a significant alive. amount of people in the Social Security Administration death records show that a, that less people were accounted for those two days. That's what I'm saying. So, you're well, there were people who were dying. No, there's people who died of natural causes, man. You're not understanding what I'm saying. They died from a car accident or natural causes or they slipped in the shower. Or whatever that day that is that's the accumulation of the amount of people that died on 9-11 is by either natural causes or accidents or whatever not by 9-11 for crying out loud man if you choose to believe that then you are so blue-pilled right now you just eat up everything the government says and I just I just I would really caution you to to go that route it's a very very dangerous place to be so, if you have all the insider information... I don't have anything. I'm just giving you my opinion. You oh, yeah. Because they care about some guy, some guy who walks dogs during the day for crying out loud, dude. But Give me a break. Un, but you're exposing the truth. Oh, That's yeah. I'm threat. exposing That's it. That's a fair... You I don't mean, believe me. Nobody around here would believe me. Why do they even care? They're probably entertained by what I'm of, saying. They're kind of entertaining. <clears throat> but kind of a sad kind of... Well, right back at you, Slick. So what about the, like um, what the about Gulf of Tonkin? What about that? I mean, that's revealed as being that was legit. a hoax. Yeah, that was a legit hoax. Okay. But that came. See, but here is a fact where they did ultimately declassify it, and yeah, decades afterwards, yeah. when everybody forgot about it. <laughs> well, I'm sure the vets didn't forget. It. Yeah, they did. Nobody did. Anybody kick down the White House doors and like eradicate the government well, Nixon, by using our Second Amendment? Nixon was gone by that time. Or if I should say, Be careful. What's his face? You can just have one, man. If you don't mind taking my YouTube channel card. You don't have to listen to him. What do you think? Well, I have a pretty good idea that water lays level and flat when contained and not moving. So how is that any different than the oceans laying level and flat? Because you have to have curvature to have a ball, right? Take care, man. Have be safe yep. out there. Yep. Well, you can know that because you can observe that. Do you feel us spinning right now or moving? No, gravity. Though. Appreciate the weather, bro. Hey, no problem, man. I'm yeah. Down here. Yeah, take it easy, man. Right on, man. Yeah, just I want a piece to a I wouldn't I just would suggest not to a piece to authority and say that you're not smart enough to know certain things. You know what? I think India. I just saw India is trying to fly to the moon, which I don't think we've been to the moon. It's hard to believe that one, but we'll see with the India going up here. But yeah, I mean, if they're your prophets and they're the only ones that can interpret the sky, then we might be in a religion, right? Because you can't verify that that what they're saying. And if you can't verify that, that's not science, that's faith. Because science is observational, right? demonstrable, and repeatable. What right? about that dude from uh, Red Bull that dropped from the sky with the webcam? Yeah, Felix the Cat? Yeah. yeah. What about him? You can see, like, curvature around this globe when he got, you know, out of the hmm. Earth's atmosphere. You ever heard of a fisheye lens? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, it's a GoPro nice. lens. Sure. So, so inside, inside, inside yeah. the capsule, it's horizontal. Yeah. But then when he's out, it's a fisheye lens. And if the Earth yeah. were really that size, then the Earth isn't what Google tells you the dimensions of it are. So it kind of contradicts itself a little bit. But the layman would just assume that that's the ball Earth, and then they continue biking around and watch the Twins games tonight. So. Because that's what they want you to do. Bread and circuses and pay your taxes because you are their cattle. No 
I'm yeah. Cattle, my yes, you are. You pay your taxes, so you're yeah, the cattle. You and you send ten million dollars a day to Israel. How do you so, because you look like the type that pays their taxes. So. Yeah. No, I'm gonna. I've, I'm a discerner of spirit, and you have the type of spirit that pays your taxes. So. Maybe humble yourself and not just say so. Like Have a nice day. You as well. Thanks for the Take care. Are you flat <clears throat> Um, I'm Joshua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you believe the ocean is flat? Um, what does that mean? Like, do you believe the earth is round or do you think it's just a flat surface? Well, I can, I can observe the earth being flat and the claim is that you live on a ball earth. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. So how do you prove the earth is a ball? Well, aren't well, there pitch, pictures from pictures. space? Yes. Yeah, pictures. So pictures, pictures are, are true. Fake? They do admit that they're composites and they're not real. They you know what? It, that? Yeah, they do. Uh, a guy named Math Powerland and Bob Simmons used to work for NASA. Yeah. And they what they do is they use high altitude airplanes and balloons and scan a level plane. Yeah. And then they put it onto a ball Earth like this, and then they composite it. And then they do all sorts of, uh, you know, Photoshop type of things. And then they tell you that that's where you live. But can I ask you, where did you really? get this information from? Yeah, no joke, man. Where did you get all this information from, though? You want that? Like, who has told you that the Earth is flat? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I can... Those? Who told you that the Earth was a ball? Sure. Well, probably my science class and pretty much everybody that I've ever had in a science class. That's... Okay, so church? So, not Science church. is your church? Like, yeah, science is my church. And that okay, was yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so you're in a religion and science class and your prophets like, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, those are the only people who can interpret the sky for you, well, like a church. I don't listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's kind of followed himself, but no, oh. I don't. He's an actor, too, did you know that? Yes, I knew that, and I don't trust him as much, but I know that the earth is, it's a ball, and... How do you know that? Well, gravity. What about it? That doesn't prove you're on a ball. Well, how gravity works in like ways and how does it how does it work? Well, because if the Earth was just flat, like mm -hmm. what would be the point of gravity? And if you're in space, well, wrong. Can't there still be gravity if the Earth is flat? Well, yes, I guess. What there's if gravity, things just but... fall to the ground because they weigh more than the air around them, and it just goes? In my opinion, the Earth and water go on infinitely forever, and no matter where you're at, no matter on the Earth, things just fall to the ground. Wait, you think the Earth goes on infinitely? Yeah, why not? But, well, but let's can say you that, go like, from this no, point I'm on in the LA. ground all the way around? Let's say I'm in LA back. and I can go So, like here. this here, I have did. you ever seen this before? No. So, here's California. Yeah. And then you just take a boat and then you just go underneath Australia and do one of these underneath Africa, go through the Panama Canal. And then you're back at California again. Mm. So, you just really just went around your neighborhood. You didn't circumnavigate the Earth. But that's like, not how do, you, how do you know the Earth is flat? Yeah. Like, so, good. then nobody has... Um, circumnavigated the Earth north to south. That's never been documented. Really? Before. Have you yeah. came here though? Yeah. Have you? No, but I'm asking. Have you no, I've here? only taken flights on commercial airliners, and I just go to a specific place. Has any anyone ever came to the edge of the Earth then? Well, if I think it goes on infinitely forever, oh, right? Yeah. So you don't yeah. believe in so, so you're pretty much using. What about that? What is that? You don't believe in the whole Antarctic going around in the circle. I've yeah. never seen the Antarctic ice wall. I've just seen pictures of it online. Okay. So, but has okay. anybody? Went there though. Uh, allegedly, the Captain Cook and a man named Admiral Byrd. I, I heard there's have. actually people that but, they were trying to do like a cruise thing, and they were actually trying to get there. No, that's not at all. See, if you believe everything you read on the newspaper or articles online, then that's well, probably where you would come from. So, but yeah. I know those people who are doing yeah. that, and that's not at all what they're trying to do. So it's actually that? just a big convention on a cruise ship. Yeah. And they found out that over 100 flat earthers were going to be on a cruise ship. Yeah. And then they just made a joke out of it and said that they're going to go to the edge. Okay, that's why. Well, yeah, like, kind of, it, it is kind of a joke, though. Know. Like, so flat know. everything in general. Well, you, you believe that the earth goes I know down. that water lays level and flat. Yeah. And it doesn't bend to create the on the exterior of a shape like you believe that you live here. Well, but you've never seen the Earth tilt at 23.4 degrees well, in outer space. So how do you know that that's how the seasons are created? Well, if we use that, then we can just say 
you haven't, whatever I haven't seen, that doesn't mean it's not true. You know? Yeah, so it's on faith then, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so objectively, is, though. I mean, we, we use the theories, and that's how we go off of it. Yeah, the, but oh. that's what you can voice as theories, yeah. right? But if I want to know what objective truth is, I can see water lay level and flat. And we can yeah. do laser experiments over a distance of a body of water. And then we can put a... You never a, programmed the lasers. We don't know how to work with the laser. Well, of you course I don't. We don't use water to level out a laser. Isn't that ironic? And so from one point to another over a body of water, we can Stop see... Stop these people this stuff. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I got it. Have a nice day. Like, Bye. So over a body of water with a laser experiment... Yeah. We can see things too far from one point to another over a body of water. Yeah. And we need curvature to have a ball, right? Yeah. Okay, sure. so if we don't have curvature and we get we get from Google the distance, the radius, and yeah. the circumference, yeah. but we see things too far and their math is what we use. Okay. And that's how you but can what debunk. About, but what about all the other experiments that prove gravity? Like what um, would those be? Well, uh, Newton's laws, first laws of motion, if you have something that's moving, it's never, like, it's never going to stop. Okay, all but that doesn't things. prove a ball. No, it doesn't prove a ball. That proves that you're the but, force moving something. Yeah. Yeah, so you're this one that's starting it. So but, gravity can only be observed by me picking this up and, and dropping it. Yeah. But I'm the force, I'm the second party picking it up and dropping it. Well, technically you can't really see gravity. Well, people tell me that all the time, so I'm just regurgitating what people tell me. Well, so and the majority of people just come by and say, watch gravity, and then they drop something. Well, that's, well, I mean, yeah, but well, that's Well, can I not, say one thing? Like, you you really are saying gravity. that we are believing everything that we are told, and now you're saying that people tell you this, and you're believing everything you're told. Have you ever decided to learn how to fly a plane and just fly from California and just infinitely go, like, like that, and you're going to end up in, like, Asia? Like, no, have you, you're not. Yes, and you that's are. Fine. That, yes, you are. You're gonna end up in Asia. Okay, try. That's fine. I have yeah. a question. You do you think that? there's more land? I believe it. Past, true. I do. If it's infinite, you think mm -hmm. there's more I land do. to be discovered? Yep, and they're withholding it from us. So you, you ever seen the movie Who is The Village? It? No, I haven't. Check it out. It's pretty fascinating. There's a new TV show out on Netflix called The Society. Yeah. Which is really fascinating too. It's a group of high schoolers who, in their town, have a very, very pungent smell in the town. And the parents of this town decide that all their children should leave for a week to go on vacation, and we're going to eradicate the smell. Well, they all get on a bus, and then they leave on the main road, but then there's a big storm, quote, coincidentally enough, and this is mudslide blocks off the main road. So all the school buses turn around, they let all the kids off, and then the buses just take off. Like, they bolt out of there really quickly. Yeah. So the children come to find out that they can only communicate with each other through the internet with each other, and they can't ex get outside of this little village that they're on. And then so what they end up doing is they get a little posse together, and they find out that there's actually a perimeter that they're not allowed to get out of. So okay, they're with yeah. they're restrained from leaving this city of theirs. But the thing but is, so this is like only fiction. Stuff, this is would, not real. Why would our government... Why would well, I mean, it's just an idea of the idea that this is the Antarctic ice wall holding us all in. So there's like some kind of alleged Antarctic treaty where I think what it's doing is it's fearing people in from exploring because the idea is that if we go explore as civilians, we're going to get shot. Well, what about like global well, warming? Do you true. think once that gets to a certain point, they would let us? No one controls no, the global ice global warming is just not real, man. No one you think controls. global warming is real? That is not true. Global warming is real, and it is you destroying our planet. Yeah. Human beings don't have the capabilities of destroying the earth that was created for us, in my opinion. Well, we do, and so, we are destroying the earth, and we need to like fix this. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. You said. Uh, Has, you have said you ever had a weirder winter year than you have before? The people, or like in the show, the people found that there is actually a border like this. Well, it's just so predictive programming. It? So, so which one? Like TV you know? and movies and Hollywood were not yeah. created for entertainment purposes. Oh, yeah. There's an esoteric and an exoteric meaning behind movies and television, yeah. of which the public thinks it's fun and entertaining to watch, but the people who are in the know, who are part of secret societies, yeah. there's an underlying message that's being delivered. Okay, but which one is it? Does it go on forever, or is there a wall that we can't? Go? I think it goes on in Philippi forever. But so, what I'm doing, okay, just hold on. Okay. I know that you're very anxious right now. I can sense it. No, I'm okay? just wondering. No, no, no. Because, because you're assuming that because I'm sharing something, I believe it. I'm trying to give you everything, throw everything at the wall, 
So you can investigate these things so on your own I'm, time. I'm playing devil's advocate with you. You can play you. whatever you want to play, but I used to believe this for 35 years, well, I, I'm not even and I don't believe that. this anymore. I'm not even talking about that. I'm so, talking about you told me that you believe that it goes on forever. Okay. And you told me that there in the show that there is a wall. Yeah. So okay. Are, but that so is just a work of fiction. But you don't see. You, you didn't even listen to what I just said. You but said we, I'm very anxious. I yeah, but that. you, that's exactly <laughs> exactly my point. <laughs> yeah. So what? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Finish your statement. So the predictive programming, for example, in that show and in the village, yeah. is that there is a perimeter holding people in. As if to say, now that people know about Flat Earth, and the majority of Flat Earthers think that there is an ice wall holding all the water in. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the point. Oh, yeah. So right. anybody who comes into Flat Earth immediately will yeah. come into this ice wall idea. Okay. And that's what I learned when I first came into it too. Oh, yeah. But over two or three years, I started to think, how is it that we have measured the whole entire Earth? Because personally, I believe in what the Bible says, and God conveys a message to Job in 38. Yeah. And in Isaiah 40, 12, that you do not have the capabilities of measuring the earth. Because you were not here when I created it. Okay. That's so fair. that's where I get the infinite plane idea. That's, that's fair enough. Yeah. So why is it, I just, no offense to you, but why is it so hard for people to contemplate the idea that it, land and water go on infinitely when nobody has confirmed or disproven outer space goes on infinitely forever? Oh, well, no, we're saying, I'm not, I'm not arguing about that. I'm just saying. No, but I'm trying to, I'm, no, like, I I'm trying to have a saying. conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. with you, yeah, yeah. my I'm man. Trying, I'm trying you to, know. no, I understand. Do, and, do people, do they no, not I teach agree. us that outer space goes on infinitely yeah. forever? Yes, and I, I'm. Okay, so how has, how has no, he I'm, verified that? Is, right? It's, no, that's, that's the thing that I told you in the start. Yeah. Is so it's all if you're theory, saying you know? that outer space yeah. is like infinite. you have Newton's theory. And like no one has proved that. just built. How about you prove that the Earth Math is is built on a concept for us to describe reality. Yeah, but in reality, it doesn't really mean something. No, it doesn't. It's just, um, in my opinion, math is a language, and it can be manipulated to appease to whatever idea that they want to convey. So in science, we have all these ideas, and we're going on with it, and all the theories are supposed to match up with each other. And that's why there's so many theories when it goes on that gets debunked. Yeah, they're supposed to, right? See, like, you have an idea of flat earth, and that's what you believe in. Wait, and well, I know that water lays level and flat. Yeah, I mean, yes, but I'm just saying. And then there's two other proofs. You want to hear the other two quote proofs of flat earth? Sure, go ahead. The higher that you get in altitude, the horizon continues to rise with you, and you start yeah. to see more land in front of you. Yeah. And the horizon still lays level and flat. That's why we call it a horizon, because right. it's horizontal. Yeah. And then also, if you've ever been to the ocean, have you seen a yeah. sunset? Yes. Quote sunset? Well, as the sun is traveling further away from you and gets lower in the horizon, that sun ray comes all the way up to your feet. And if it were a ball with curvature, that sun ray would only come up halfway because well, there has to be curvature. Here's, a, here's in the, ball. the thing that I believe people yeah. are like saying is that the Earth is way too big for you to be able to see the curvature. Okay, how big is so it? If, if the Earth, mm-hmm. I don't know the exact dimensions. Okay, but but, but you're making saying, a claim and you don't, don't have anything to back it well, up. Well, you're making oh, a claim that yours is infinite and, and you have nothing how, to back that I up. I search how long, how big the dimensions are. I just don't have it on top of my head. Yeah. But I'm saying is, like, if you put an ant on a little, like, if you put a baby ant right here, mm-hmm. it's not going to see that curvature right there. You see the curvature because we're standing so far away. But if I'm looking at the ocean, like, I can't see that far ahead. Where I'm able to tell if there's a curvature or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's like when I'm going around, I'm not going around. Like technically, I am going around in a circle, but it's like it's so big that the circle is very, you know. Yeah, I mean, I see where you're coming from, yeah, that's but that's not true because we have measured the Earth, and it's yeah. not as big as you think it is. Well, I mean, that, I just believe that I can't see that. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough, and that's why we have a curvature calculation to prove and disprove the ball Earth. Because so, Google cell tells us that we have measured the Earth. Well, we have. We know how big the Earth is. We can define it by how much these, this land is and how much the ocean is. So we're gonna know. Yeah, it's yeah. Four, uh, just under four thousand miles in radius. Yeah. Okay. And so I just showed you that over a distance between two points using a laser, yeah. we can see things too far with high optic zoom lenses. Okay. So if the Earth were a ball, we would not be able to see that because the, so that, the object would literally be below you. So. Where is that experiment? Then? You gotta investigate on your own time. I have a YouTube channel because okay. I'm just not your prophet or your teacher or anything. I just yeah. I'm here to provoke thought, 
to get you on a particular path that I encourage you to go on. And if you want to believe like what you were taught in school, and school is your church, and teachers are your priests, and NASA is like your God because they're the only ones that can interpret the sky, then you're in a faith-based religion. I mean, yes. I well, do you think teachers just, in NASA just, are lying to us? I just don't think that all of them are in on the joke. So you are saying that he has no information to I back up think, anything you just like, said, but you have no information to back up. I'm just up not here to debate with you. You're a child right now. Okay, no offense, but you really are. And I'm just not here to debate with you because you're still in the educational process. Okay? So you think well, so you're can, saying that my you think, that you're saying so you that my, my opinion you can does take not my count. information. You're saying my opinion does I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm not going to engage, okay? So you're going to have to listen or walk away, okay? Have I a nice I'm going to walk away because you're just trying to confuse people and just telling them total crap. And this is all so just these like experiments like, you've done. Crap. And, like, the I've observed not, them. Like, observed flat them. earth is yeah. not a thing and you have no facts to back any of this so up. If, so if you have observed that when you go from here to here, no, what I'm saying so is, what, what is, is between it? here, explain, explain to okay, me so between here yeah. is zero, yeah. that's zero miles, so that's yeah. where you're standing, yeah. okay, and that's a thousand miles, yes, I agree. Okay? okay, so here's your 1,000 mile mark from A to B, yeah. means that that's six, 167,378 feet of curvature drop, yeah. or we could use miles, and that's 128 miles of curvature drop. Okay. So that means that whatever this object is a thousand miles away should be below you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, so you take but what if within um, two, like what if within a hundred miles we're observing something that is supposed to be below six hundred and sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty nine thousand feet? Okay, but that object we can still see it. We can still see those objects that are supposed to be below the curvature. Trying to, trying to I know this. Uh, yeah, this is and this is <laughs> there's new. So many numbers, you know? Because there's a, there's a lot there's a lot to take in here because yeah. this is a, a ball has to have curvature. Yeah. Fair enough, right? Yes. I can tangibly get the circumference and the radius of this, and then find out what the curvature drop is from any tangent point on the top of this ball. Yeah. Right. So we can find out what it is, and the equation with this is eight inches per mile squared, which is pretty good within a few hundred miles. Yeah. Because then, uh, you know, because of density of the atmosphere and um, water vapor compounding onto itself, it gets more difficult to see things. So you're saying if I start here, mm -hmm. and I start here. Well, you would start here, and then you would observe whatever object it is that you're trying to observe going away from you. So well, when we look at this, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you, so let's say I'm here, so let's say I'm here and I'm here, and I point a laser this way. They're supposed. Then they're supposed to touch each other. Then. I just don't think you understand where I'm coming from on that. Yeah, yeah I don't think I get the. Experience, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a little bit confusing. Yeah, and you got your phone there. Maybe you could take a picture of it and then type in curvat Earth curvature calculation. Okay. Because what these are defaulted at is at a six foot observer height. Okay, so that means you're six feet off the ground and you're watching, like for example, a ship travel further away from you. Yeah. But okay, so the idea, just hold on, yeah. the idea is that when a ship goes over the horizon and it disappears from the bottom up, yeah. that means that as it travels further away from you, if you're watching it earlier in the day, that the water temperature and the air temperature are at kind of at equilibrium with each other, so yeah. they're closer together in temperature, so you're going to see things too far. You know, that's kind of the phrase, because the water vapor hasn't accumulated because the sun is just coming up. But if you do the same observation later in the day, and you see something travel further away from you, yeah. the, the sun has beat down on the water to create condensation and water vapor and evaporation. So it's going to be more difficult to see. So there's going to be more of a water vapor compounding effect. So the horizon, yeah. which can't be measured, is going to be closer, okay. if that makes sense. So earlier in the day, you can see further. But later in the day, you can see closer because of the, you know, compounding of the water vapor. Okay. And then there's other particulates in the air too. So can would I ask a quick you know? thing? Do you have a video of me? Because I not like you. I would not like you have footage of me. So could you please delete that? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't really. Okay, I will probably have to look it up. Yeah, it's good. It's, yeah. it's very like it's too much. Yeah, because I've had to look up this stuff you know? on my own too. But you know? so. 
that makes sense. All right. Well, I mean, I don't really know the whole science about the curvature. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks a lot. Bye. Just, that's just what I believe. Yeah, no, from, fair enough. And I was at your point, too. Yeah. I was where you were at also, and, you know, just, it's a lot to take in because there's so much, you know, for lack of a better term, indoctrination. You know, we're I mean, told a dogmatic idea through school, like, you know, the young men who were here earlier, yeah. where they're at a particular age where authority just would not lie to me. I mean, but when yeah, you get older, you find out that people do lie for money, power, and notoriety, I mean, and to have control course, over others. Well, it's just a matter of, like, what theory, and, like, you have this, I don't, I can't go off of what you said. Because yeah, I don't want I, you to. I, I don't know what. I don't want you to. But just yeah. a matter of what theory and what things that we believe. And yeah, I just want course. you to, um, you know, in your own time, if you feel led, do your own, you know, research. Have, why would, uh, what is the advantage for science to, to tell us the circular? I don't know, I'm not them, so I don't really have a motive. Okay. Um, a lot of people say that it hides a creator, more land, resources. That's a creator. Oh, that's a different story now. You know? <laughs> now we're good. So, we're good. We're good. We're good. hey, right. thanks for Thank stopping. You. Bye. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? I can't complain. Thanks. What brings you at the beach today? The lake. It's another day at the beach. Yeah, just hanging out, huh? Yeah. Hanging out right now. Yeah. You guys want to work? Oh, I have one thing. Oh, I okay. love one. Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. You ever go on the YouTube's? Yes. Oh, right on. I got a YouTube channel. Plug it in. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so how long have you been a flat earther? Well, I'm Joshua. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, nice to meet I'm you. I'm sorry to suspect you in that way. No, you're fine. Yeah. Because I don't go around trying to say I identify as something. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's just me. I would say I've been looking into this topic for about this this winter, fall will be four years. So 2015, late 2015. Yeah. So... Would it surprise you that I used to believe in the heliocentric ball earth model, solar system, and all that stuff? I know, we're all raised in that. <laughs> right, exactly. I just happen to have the type of spirit that just questions this place, because I feel like there's something innately wrong with this place, and I don't think that the people above us who are in charge have our best interests in mind. So, to really learn more things, you have to, in a sense, empty your cup, and then allow new information to come in. Where if you're always full and you walk around with this type of mentality that you already know everything and nothing can change your mind, I think that's a dangerous place to be. To where as if you at least like watch what other where other people are coming from or listen to where other people are at, maybe that type of ideology, lifestyle or whatever will resonate with you and then you can make informed choices because then you have both sides of the story, right? So... And this just happened to resonate with me because I observe water laying level and flat, like the water behind you, it's contained by shoreline and whatnot. So I just kind of put that in the same frame of all of the oceans laying level and flat, because <clears throat> to have a ball earth, you have to have curvature, right? So I just don't, in my heart, feel comfortable thinking that water just gradually bends over a distance to create a ball earth. In outer space, you know that I've never, that I've never seen before, with my own eyes, like like NASA gives me. So I feel like if I was to believe that either of these two images are where I live, like I used to, I I had this image right here on my screensaver on my computer, five years ago before I went to go teach English in Thailand. And so I believed that this was where I lived, but then it just kind of started to when I came back. Um, things just happen by circumstance or whatever, and it just I just thought like, okay, I don't know where I live. And then as I continued to pursue like this idea of flat earth, it just started to resonate with me more because then it humbled me in the respect that as human beings, I don't feel like we have the power or the technology or the right to see the earth in its entirety, you know, so... Well, it's been great talking with you. I appreciate you listening. Yeah, definitely. We'll check out. Yeah, show. why not, right? Yeah. Have nice so, night. have a nice day. Thanks Bye. For, thanks for the water. Yeah, no worries. Yeah.